I never want it to come off as me being ungrateful for the opportunities I have. I can also be having the greatest time and simultaneously wishing people would stop sending me death threats. Right. Every time that a celebrity gets like one DM that says KYS, they're like, I'm getting death threats! <laughs> Has a famous person in Hollywood ever betrayed their own admirers? With Snow White actress Rachel Zegler, that's just what's happening. And things are getting sticky. As we explore the growing uproar and Disney's disorganized reaction, stay tuned. We'll analyze Zegler's multi-million dollar losses, her blame on her followers for her demise, and Disney's desperate effort to save the Snow White remake. From PR fiascos to last minute reshoots, in today's video, will Zegler's career come to an end as a result, or can Disney make things better? Remember to like and subscribe to Woke Informant for more updates if you want to be up to speed with the newest entertainment drama. Following her abrupt removal from Disney's Snow White remake and many high-profile roles, Rachel Zegler's reputation has suffered greatly. What started out as a few dubious social media postings swiftly turned into a major PR catastrophe. Her interviews, which were before seen as honest, are now being disparaged as tone-deaf and out-of-touch, infuriating both casual fans and former Disney supporters. Zegler chose to distance herself from the criticism by hardening her stance and making claims that many feel have made matters worse. She also alienated a significant section of her fan base by continuing to paint herself as a victim. Some feel that Disney was forced to separate with her due to the overwhelming criticism, fearing more repercussions from her increasingly polarizing actions. Not content to just defend herself, Rachel Zegler took the situation a step further by accusing Snow White's most devoted followers of being the reason for her career's downfall. Zegler took a risk when she attacked her detractors, calling them misogynists and opponents of advancement. She disregarded any criticism as part of a deliberate assault, further alienating the audience that Disney depends on, instead of addressing the unhappiness of the fans. More startlingly, sources claim that she is getting ready to make a statement in which she would publicly attack her critics and characterize them as a dangerous minority, therefore doubling down on this narrative. Given the boldness of this action, many are questioning if Segler is purposefully inciting a boycott by fans and thus virtually courting further criticism. Her public relations are already severely damaged so this brutal strategy might be disastrous for both her career and Disney's beleaguered Snow White remake. Fans appear to be daring her to go, taking the project's reputation with her. Disney is now facing an unprecedented crisis under Bob Iger's direction as they work feverishly to control the harm created by Zegler's explosive conduct. A once exciting version of Snow White has devolved into a business nightmare that is requiring senior executives to attend emergency meetings almost every day. Iger and his colleagues are purportedly in a panic behind the scenes, trying to save the multi-million dollar project while trying to separate Disney from Zegler's ever more poisonous reputation. There are rumors circulating that Disney is starting to lose its mind because of the mounting opposition to Rachel Zegler. According to other accounts, management are allegedly secretly debating how to completely break ties with her, possibly including excluding her from important initiatives. This is now a full-blown crisis that began as an effort at damage control, showing that this is more than simply a public relations problem its survival mode for the massive entertainment company. Zegler, who is well known for her contentious social media outbursts and aggressive demeanor, is still causing issues. The disputes seem to be gathering steam rather than going away. Disney's leadership, including Bob Iger's staff, is taking drastic actions as more fans and critics voice their displeasure of her conduct. In an effort to protect the business from the impending storm, they are allegedly attempting to secretly sever relations with Zegler. 
Disney's approach does, however, come with a lot of hazards. They risk more criticism if they retreat too sharply or too soon, since this would validate public perceptions that Zegler is a problem they are frantically trying to remove themselves from. Supporters may see this as an obvious effort to hide the fact that she was miscast in the first place. However, if they wait, Zegler's mounting PR problems may overshadow the initiatives she is working on, which may hurt Iger's leadership and Disney's brand as a whole. Disney's future is at stake in this scenario, which has turned into a race against time. Zegler's persistent errors have placed the organization in a difficult situation where they need to find a way to save both the project and their reputation. Disney relies heavily on its family-friendly image, so the link with Zegler, who is now embroiled in controversy, could be detrimental to the company's reputation in the long run. There is a lot at risk, and Disney's handling of the Zegler incident will probably be used for years to come as a crisis management case study. In the entertainment sector, public perception may change quickly, and every mistake is magnified on social media. Disney is under tremendous pressure to act swiftly and wisely. It won't only be Zegler's career that suffers if Disney is unable to handle this crisis well. Disney's reputation for casting and production might suffer, and the audience's faith in the projects she's engaged in could be lost. Even worse, if supporters believe that Disney was aware of Zegler's bad conduct, but chose to overlook it until it became a crisis. This might cause a general lack of confidence in the company's next endeavors. This calls into doubt Disney's internal decision-making procedure as well. How much were executives aware of Zegler's contentious social media presence before they hired her for significant roles? Did they think the scandal would go away on its own? Or did they misjudge the strength of a response on social media? There are probably hard conversations going on behind closed doors over whether it is worth it to keep working with Zegler. After all, Disney has to manage its relationship with one celebrity, in addition to safeguarding a brand that has been built on decades of magical, family-friendly stories. The challenging goal for Iger's staff is to get Disney out of this PR mess without making matters worse. Disney could have little choice but to take more extreme action if Zegler's scandals become worse, such changing her responsibilities or even putting projects on hold. Considering the substantial amount of money that has probably already been invested in these projects, this would be an unusual action. However, Disney could feel forced to take action to safeguard their brand if the outcry from the public is too strong. Disney's current approach seems to be centered on subtly downplaying Zegler's involvement. One method that they are attempting to phase her out without attracting too much notice is by substituting her for important performances and events, especially during the vital Christmas season. By bringing in Gal Gadot, Disney is indicating a turn towards stability and professionalism at a time when the corporation needs good results to generate revenue. The actual issue, however, is whether Disney will be able to break its ties to Zegler. The entertainment business is not always predictable, and sometimes a celebrity's mistakes might be forgotten over time and lead to a self-reflection and image makeover. However, it seems doubtful that Zegler would take the required actions to restore her image given her repeated attempts to shift blame and her inability to own up to her part in the outcry. Disney now faces an even more difficult situation since they could need to deal with this PR catastrophe for a long time. In the end, Disney's response to the Rachel Zegler case will determine how they will handle contentious celebrities going forward. They could escape this catastrophe relatively unharmed if they can manage it well. But if they make a mistake, Zegler's mounting PR problems might bring down the project as a whole as well as perhaps Bob Iger's leadership. There are a lot of risks here, and Disney's image going forward may be at risk. Once a rising star in Hollywood, Rachel Zegler has been involved in scandal lately. 
Her candid opinions and unrestrained social media presence have garnered her a great deal of criticism. Many fans and industry insiders think that a big part of her present problems stem from her unpredictable conduct and public meltdowns. Zegler has, however, placed the whole burden on her detractors, especially her followers, alleging that they have prevented her from earning as much as $20 million. Zegler contends that Disney distanced themselves from her as a result of the backlash she received after her social media rants. She has indeed received a great deal of criticism, but it's difficult to ignore how she contributed to the flames. Even though social media gives celebrities a great way to interact with their fans, it can also be risky. Zegler alienated a lot of followers with her emotional outbursts and aggressive conversations with them, rather than leveraging it to her advantage. Her candid comments have been seen as very unprofessional in a field where reputation and public opinion are vital. This begs the more general issue of why some Hollywood women feel obliged to strike out in response to criticism. In the entertainment business, women no longer need to be saved from hardship, but how they respond to obstacles is still crucial. When public personalities try out for important posts or chase fame, they are often the target of scrutiny. There may be major financial fallout when celebrities use social media as a place to vent or argue with detractors. Disney's subdued move to separate itself from Zegler emphasizes how crucial reputation management is to the entertainment sector. The business quickly began to phase her out, substituting Gal Gadot for her in important holiday performances. A seasoned actor with a flawless public image, Gadot was the perfect pick for Disney, particularly at a time when big projects are what generate income. Zegler's replacement by Gadot demonstrated just how much of a burden Zegler had become to be for the business. The huge financial risks associated with the Christmas season made it clear that Disney couldn't afford for Zegler to ruin their high-profile projects as seen by her replacement with Gata. Safeguarding their bottom line was just as important as preserving their brand. Zegler claims to have lost $20 million in profits that she might have made, but this is probably because of the many possibilities she lost because of her declining reputation. Zegler's unwillingness to accept responsibility for her part in her demise just serves to exacerbate the issue for her. She keeps blaming her detractors for her financial losses rather than owning up to the fact that her actions caused the response. It is concerning that this lack of self-awareness exists in a field where managing public impression is essential. Zegler runs the danger of offending the same audience that may support her career if she keeps blaming her supporters and detractors. Celebrities have navigated problems in the entertainment business by accepting responsibility for their actions and repairing their strained connections with the public. Rachel Zegler, on the other hand, is in a risky situation because of her unwillingness to take responsibility. Today's world demands responsibility. Stars who own up to their mistakes and strive for progress are usually forgiven by the public. However, Zegler's actions seem to be having the opposite effect further estranging her from her followers. Zegler may do long-term harm to her career if she keeps going in this direction. Gal Gadot was chosen by Disney to replace Zegler, a move that was probably not taken lightly and represents the general opinion in the business that Zegler is now more trouble than she is worth. Even if Zegler has lost $20 million, it may not be as much as she would have lost in the long run if she is unable to restore her reputation. The delicate balance between notoriety, public opinion, and financial success is at the center of this case. Celebrities need to be careful with their public image at a time when every tweet and word is closely examined. This is especially true for women who work in the entertainment business, since they often face more criticism than their male colleagues. But the solution is to handle criticism with skill and grace, rather than to keep quiet. Even if the public may not always be correct, 
A celebrity's response to criticism may greatly influence their chances in the future. Other celebrities who may be tempted to utilize social media as a catharsis for their concerns should take note from Zegler's estimated $20 million loss. The financial ramifications of bad public relations may be startling, especially for someone like Zegler, who is still in the early phases of her profession. She might be better served by taking some time to think on and reevaluate herself rather than concentrating on her detractors. Making amends for her part in the scandal and really trying to repair her reputation might open the door to a possible return. She runs the danger of increasing enmity and further monetary losses. However, if she keeps holding critics and admirers responsible for her problems, Disney's quick decision to replace Segler with Gadot highlights how competitive the business is and how someone is always willing to step in if you don't live up to the expectations of your investors and audience. Zegler has tremendous potential, but if she doesn't change, her present career trajectory raises questions about her future in the field. In the end, it comes down to handling the demands of notoriety and public scrutiny rather than simply brilliance. Women in the entertainment sector need to acknowledge the power they have via their public platforms as they tear down barriers and smash glass ceilings. Zegler's predicament serves as a reminder that maintaining one's public image is essential to long-term success, especially at a time when women are no longer in need of saving. There is little room for mistake and huge stakes. If Segler doesn't make a swift course correction, her $20 million loss may be the start of a far worse decline in the entertainment industry.